Now we're going to look at event handlers in Riot.js and how re-rendering works. Using the hello world tag from part one, we're going to add a few HTML elements. As you can see, I've added an on key up event to our field. When a key is pressed, the add method is going to run. We need to add the add method to our JavaScript. Now what I'd like to do is every time a key is pressed, I'd like to add or increment a count integer. Now if I test my field, it should increment my count. Now let's say we wanted a button that subtracted from our count. Let's go ahead and add one. And of course we'll need a method in our JavaScript for the logic. Let's go ahead and test our subtract button to see if our decrementing works. Seems to be working fine. However, once I get past zero, we start getting into negative numbers. So let's fix that. And if we test our counter now, it appears to be working. Now I would actually like to remove a character as I hit the subtract button. So let's do that. I'm first going to add a helper function to help us achieve this. And to test, as you can see, each character is being removed on subtract. One thing that's really neat about Riot.js is its ability to reference DOM elements by ID. So things like our input ID of add input can be directly used in our JavaScript below as add input. This makes it really easy to bind our form elements with our logic. One thing to note is how Riot.js re-renders a tag. When an event is fired, such as a key up or a click, Riot is told to re-render. Now in asynchronous operations, such as like Ajax calls or timeout, you'll need to re-render the tag manually. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a set interval function in my tag to run the add method every second. As you'll notice, nothing's happening. That's because Riot needs to be told to update manually. Within my add tag, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, every second, my account should work. And that's it. Thanks for watching.